Hello and welcome to the 8th week of the UGA, the Universal Gaming Association. Um, this week we will fight against Kev the Dev TV um, and his team, the Hamburg High Dragons. Kev has a YouTube channel, I will put a link into the description. Um, you should check him out and maybe subscribe as well. When you, by the way, subscribe to my channel as well. <laughs> Thank you, thumbs up. So yeah, let's get right in. Um, Kev the Dev has Colossal as his GMAX Pokemon and uh, has a really scary team. So yeah. Um, I think this week he will bring Colossal and Sneasel because it's his, his core. Uh, Gastrodon as well because Gastrodon can counter my Blastoise and Blast is my, my GMAX, my main Pokemon. Uh, Serena to handle Blastoise as well. Because his Colossal isn't really a threat for him. He can max overgrow, but um, yeah, I think his, his better way is Serena and Gastrodon. Um, then for the possible Pokemon, I think he will bring Dusclops to go Trick Room. Because my team isn't really fast, but isn't really slow either. Um, the only slow Pokemon I can bring is Pinkurchin. To Pinkurchin would be the the, slowest po the fastest Pokemon in Trick Room of all, but uh, the rest of my team is more or less fast. So maybe you will bring Dust Clubs. He could bring Bolton to do Eerie Impulse, Charm. He's Electric type. It's good against my Blastoise, but he Bolton isn't as good as against the rest of my team. So I. Don't think that I don't think he will bring him. If he brings him, I think only for support. Uh, Covinite. Covinite gets a hard time against my electric call, against Salasol. And uh, yeah, my Blastoise will run this week an um, electric uh, terrain pulse. If he brings Covinite, good for me, but I I think um, Dust Clubs and Hitmontop would be a better choice. Hitmontop just because he can fake out and uh, ensure his trick room. Uh, he's intimidated as well to lower the attack of my Leafeon and my Crocodile. And maybe Cobalion if he thinks I, I would bring him. And I think uh, Hitmontop is much more solid than Boltund or Covenite. Pokemon I think he don't will bring this week. Pinsir? It's because Pinsir is only good against my Lithium. And um, yeah, I don't think Pinsir coming. Uh, Crownaut? Yeah, Water Dark. Water gets bodied hard by my Pinkurchin and Raichu. Maybe he thinks I will not bring Pinkurchin and Raichu because uh, it's the first match I will bring those bows in the UGA. So, maybe he brings Krognot, but if he brings him, I got this week in Crutch and Raichu, should be covered. And uh, Jumper? Jumper is a dragon normal type, and with Blastoise and Vanilux, I think there is no reason to bring him. He's good in Trick Room, maybe he brings him to um, disable my Hail, but my team doesn't really rely on Hail that's that much. I have no slap. Slash Ross user, and if he takes out the hail, okay, not chip damage, but that's all. So, yeah, Pokemon I will bring. I will bring definitely this week Blastoise, Leafeon, Blastoise because GMAX, and I can handle Colossal. I will run in with a Choice Scarf to Water Sprout, but later I will explain a little bit more about it. I uh, will bring Leafeon, but he looks something virgin for sure. Um. Yeah, let's let's jump right in into the into the, the team preparation. Well, okay. First of all, uh, this week I will bring my Lithium. I've drafted Lithium just for this match to handle Gastrodon. Um, there's my Crocodile and my Vanilux. Vanilux this week will not be Choice Scarf. Um, Pink Urchin, Raichu, Electrical this week with uh, Surging Surfer, Rising Voltage, Fake Out, Nuzzle, Raichu will do a ton of work this week. Uh, Crocodile as my main Dynamax Pokemon this week. 
Blastoise will be scuffed. I can Dynamaxin, but a scuff, if he doesn't run Sneasel scuffs, Blastoise should be able to one shot his Colossal just with Water Sprout. So, yeah. And my Crocodile with Taunt for, for the Dust Clubs and coverage and making damage. So, team preview. Okay. As I said, Blastoise with uh, Choice Scuff, I put Fake Out in to him because if I want to leak Blastoise and I have to Fake Out his Hitman on top to prevent the Trick Room, he needs Fake Out. But normally my idea behind this is clicking Water Sprout all day or Blizzard with Bunny Lose. Terrain Pulse is more for if I decide to go Dynamax. When I go Dynamax, I lose the Choice Scuff, but I'm not any more locked into one move, so that's a choice I can do. Lithium this week with Power Herb. I've done the cards. Uh, Lithium can one shot Gastrodon with Solar ba Blade, um, even if he has Rindoberry. Rindoberry, max HP, max defense, he will die either. So his only way to survive is Dynamaxing Gastrodon, but I don't think he will do this. And I don't think either that he's done his. Gastrodon so, so heavenly defensive just to counter my Lithium because I have done looks as well with Freeze Dry who can take care of his Pokemon so he has to split up a little bit his defense and he needs attack as well so yeah, I think Lithium can one-shot his Gastrodon with Solar Blade Our next Pokemon, Raichu Raichu alone uh, this week was Rising Voltage um, uh, it does huge damage with uh, Pink Urchin and Electric Terrain. Grass Knot for Gastrodon. Fake Out, uh, the same reason because I run Fake Out on Blastoise. When I see Hitmon on top and Dust Clops, I have to click Fake Out to Hitmon on top and then Town on Dust Clops to prevent the Trick Room. Um, and Nuzzle, because when I start with Pink Urchin and Raichu, and he starts with uh, Colossal and Sneasel, I will. I want to paralyze this Colossal because um, after he kills one of my Pokemon, I can go in with Crocodile, Dynamax, and one shot his Colossal. Because um, paralyzed, I should be faster. Vanilux this week uh, with a light clay set. Um, he hits hard, max special attack, uh, has ally switch as well, that can help me a lot. Um, freeze Drive for Gastrodon, Blizzard for Blizzard Spam, and Aurora Veil. I don't see many ways for him to change the weather outside of maybe Dynamaxing um, his Pokemon, but I think Vanilux can be good as a late game sweeper and if I see the opportunity put on the Aurora Whale, I will do so. Pinkochen sets up electric terrain with Shukaberry so I can live um, Max Quake from his Pokemon. Um, physical set, Zinc Zap, Poison Jab. The physical set is more because I want to, I want the Sucker Punch and I want to do my uh, damage with Poison Jab on Serena. Because uh, if not, my Raichu and my Pinkerchen would be countered too hard by Serena. So I go Poison Jab and can do some damage. I think a possible lead here uh, will be Raichu and Crocodile for the first game. If he goes with, um, if he goes with his um, Hitmon top and Dust Clops, I can just town and fake out. If he goes with um, Colossal for any reason, I can nuzzle him. I bring in Pink Urchin, nuzzle his Colossal, and then I can kill his Colossal next turn with uh, Crocodile. Uh, yeah, Crocodile, this week is my main Dynamax Pokemon. I've gauged in the Rindleberry just because of his Colossal and Serena. Um, Gastrodon is not not so um, hyper offense, so I can live in Max, um, max Water if I'm Dynamax as well. High Horsepower <coughs> for Colossal, Throat Shop for coverage as well. And Fire Fang for Serena. And Town just for Dust Clubs. So that's my team for this week. Um, 
Good luck, help, help found for Kev the Death, and let's see if I can win this week and ensure my enter into the playoffs. Let's go. Okay, let's start our match against Kevin, Kev the Death TV, and the Humble Padres. Let's see if my preps work out. Okay, he's choosing the roots. So my idea is to start with Crocodile and Raichu when he brings what I think, but we will see. Uh, yeah, why not this one? Okay, there we are. Okay, he brought a totally different team than I expected. Okay, that will be interesting. So now I have to think about what he will do. I think he will go for... Dusclops in the first turn. I will bring Pink... Kutchen? Or Vanirox. Haven't I don't have to rush this. So Vanirox can do well against three of his Pokemon. I think I will bring definitely Pinkurchin for the right shoot tech. And now I have I can deal with Boltund, I can deal with Pinsir. Drumpa. I think I will need Vanilux for Drumpa. But or maybe Blastoise. No, I think I will go with Vanilux the first game and we'll see how this works out. And probably use my crocodile as my Dynamax mon. No Colossal and no Sneasel. That's interesting. But Gastrodon. Hashtag I hate Gastrodon. Hate him, hate him, hate him. Nice trainer card. So, let's see. There we are. Dust Clubs hidden on top. That's exactly what I expected. Because it's his best way to put the Trick Room up. So what I will do now is fake out his Hitmontop and taunt his Dust Gloves. <laughs> okay, now he knows my items, but I think that's okay for me. Okay. Next turn I can switch out my Crocodile and uh, switch in Pinkurchin to get the speed boost and start um, blowing Rising Voltage. Ooh, let's see if this works. If he isn't aware of my strat, it could work. Okay, let's fake him out. Taunt. And now he has to switch out one of his Pokemon. I will switch out my uh, my Crocodile. Save him for later. He not even has Serena. I, I don't... I really haven't prepared for this team at all. I thought he would bring Serena, he would bring 
also Sneasel. Okay. <sighs> Let's see, I think he will try the jump uh, G-Max. Hidden on top hasn't has not the escape button. I think that's good for me. So here we are. Let's go Pinkurchin. 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 Yeah, he has to go. So maybe he can put the trick room up later. Okay, Rising Voltage should get the kill. Okay, now we have 3 versus 4. I can see the righteous possible Dynamax Pokemon here. But now with Spinkurchin, I'm not sure if he wants to get the, the Trick Room up. Okay. So now what I could do is... I could do this and max pink urchin. Did this make sense? Huh. I could try to kill his dust clocks with rising voltage and maybe max. Shadow? Could this work? Yeah, let's try, why not? I think he will definitely um, max his pincer here. Yeah. And when he does Trick Room, Pink Urchin is good in Trick Room. He's the slowest Pokemon of all. I, I'm not sure if there is even a slower Pokemon than Pink Urchin. Okay, here we are. Big pink urchin power. Wee wee wee. Okay, that should be enough to kill his... Yeah. Pinkurchin takes this as a, like a champ, and next time I will nuzzle the pins here. <coughs> bye bye dust drops. Now his special defense is dropped as well, that my that will appreciate my bunny gods. Now when I can paralyze him with nuzzle, that should be game. Yeah, Jumpa can can't do anything against my bunny looks and I have my crocodile as well in the back. I just have to paralyze him. Um should I do some yeah I think I will do some damage to Pinji Pins here. see what's what he does okay jump up protects but I I don't want to kill Drumpa this turn just want to paralyze you now we have slow pins here you still can attack that's fine but my pink urchin is physical so and you don't know this I think you don't know this Okay, good damage. 
So now I can bring Vanillux, do Blizzard, probably kill Drampa and do heavy damage to Pinsir. Okay, um, shall I do? Yeah, so I this way I can ensure I kill Pinsir. So no Gastro on game one. That's interesting. Okay, that's more damage than I'd expected and the freeze. Okay, I'm sorry about the freeze, but I think it will not matter. Because I still have three Pokemon left. Yeah, I think you would have killed one Pokemon, but this doesn't change the, the result of this game. So yeah, GG, yeah. <sighs> but this isn't over yet. I still have to win the second game, or third game, who knows. So... But yeah, his first turn was just what I expected. What I prepped for. Same team. My plan wasn't Dynamax Pinkurchin, but it works out. Kind of. Okay, now, what can he do? He can go with I think I need the huh if I would be him what would I bring I can still go the same lead I think Pinkurchin Armed Bunny looks was perfect for Drumpa and can ca take care of Gastrodon as well if he brings him. It just is, isn't really a Blastoise game. Yeah, we'll do the same thing again. Because if he gets Trick Room up the first turn, I'm... I will get in trouble. I have to avoid this. So let's go, game two. Pinsir and Bolton. Okay, that's a di totally different lead. Okay, now he has not the option to... Pinsir. If I don't switch in Pinkurchin, his Bolton should be faster than my Raichu. But I can fake out him, go big and... Kill turn one his Boltunt. Yeah, I think I will kill Boltunt because he can lower my attack with Charm and my special attack with Serial Impulse, and I don't want the support mon on the field. 
If I can remove it, it's better for me, I think. A good play from him would be switching out now Baltund and switching a hit on top to lower my attack stat. But that... We'll see, maybe he does this. Okay, this will be Pinsy. He knows I haven't a good way to deal with Pin with Pinsy, and it's his best Dynam Dynamax Pokémon this time. But he doesn't know I have a Fire type move. Okay, he Dynamax first. That means that Pinsy is faster than me. I don't like this. Okay, we both go big. Fake out. Okay, Raichu is dead, yeah. It's not normal because Raichu is really uh, frail. But okay. We trade a uh, Pokemon. Now I can build up my defense. Okay, I think he could bring now Hitmontop in. So what I will do now is bring Vanilux, because I really don't want the attack drop on my Inquisition. Yeah, that's Hitmontop. And Vanilux. I should just check my Vanilux is fast. How fast is my Vanilux? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope, you're not Vanilux. Draft League. Nope, wrong team. Ah, go fast. Okay, my Vanilux is slower than my Crocodile. So, it's nice to know. I think he will not let me change. Huh. Should... I think I will just attack. I think he could change the weather. And Max Quake. Okay. That's all right. He has changed the weather like I saw, like I thought. But I can boost my special defense even more. Okay, this hit on top is really bulky. <sighs> Next turn I will definitely go for Max Flare into Pinsir to set the weather. Okay, here's my pins here. Yeah, my pins here, my Pinkwitchen. Hmm. Maybe I should go for protect this turn. Or... I don't know if he wants to kill my Pinkridge. I don't know if he can kill my Pinkridge. But I really want to get the fire up. I think if I double into Hitmontop, if he... if I lift Hitmontop, I... if I... Don't erase hit top now, I think he could do a close combat into my crocodile. And I'm not sure if uh, max flare is enough. And I want to have the fire. Hit top says okay, okay. Gastrodon.
Okay, now how I kill Gastron? The good thing is I have the weather, so now his water moves don't do so much damage. I think this turn I will protect with Pink Kirchen and do Fire Punch into Pins here. I hope he targets Pink Kirchen with a ground type move. Let's protect. Fire Fang. Would be in a better spot with those guys. Yeah. So much damage. Okay, this is game for him. So what should I do in the ga next game? Maybe I should take care of Pinsy here faster. Yeah, there's nothing I can do now. Okay, how does he start at this game? He's come with Bolton and Pinsy. Bolton Pinsy. If I would have Yeah, I think I have to I have to nuzzle the... Okay, I have to do the same leap just because of the dust clouds. I am basically forced to. Um, okay, this time Vanilux is good for Drampa. But doesn't do as much against... Oh, he deals as well against his... Other Pokemon and leave you on his bat against Pinsy. Question is Pink yeah. When I go Pink Kirchen, I can paralyze him and then deal with his pins here. Or I do something totally different. I would go Blastoise, Bunny Looks, and Rachi. Open Kirchen. Rachi, open Kirchen. Rachi. Okay. Let's see if I don't fuck this up. <laughs> Okay, this way, if I have to fake him out, I can fake him out with my Blastoise and do the Taunt and then go for the Dynamax Blastoise the next turn. Pinsir Bolt Taunt, okay. We are doing the same, but this time I have Blastoise in the field. Okay. Should I switch him out?
Yeah, we'll switch him out and do a water sprout. And hope this kills. Okay, no Dynamax from his... Oh, yeah. Oh, he does Dynamax. He does Dynamax. Yeah. Okay, is he scarred? Okay, that was not what I planned. Woo! This is huge. He has a scuffed bolt hunt. Okay. So I'm done. I'm basically done. I think this first turn is GG for him. Damn! I really didn't expect the scarf auto. Yeah, but a m minus two blasters will not do enough damage. Oh, what a fail. Okay, now, if he is Garfed, then he cannot change his attacks. So when I go in Crocodile, Max Crocodile, he cannot attack Crocodile. That's good for me. But he still has hit him on top and... <laughs> yeah, then he gets his uh, special attack boost, which shouldn't have matter. Okay, Max Flare into Pinsir. What the fuck? How can I win this? He isn't scarfed. How fast is this thing? So he slowed my attack. This will not end well. Mamma mia. Okay, Blastoise is basically dead weight here, so I will try and switch him out. 
and kill the Pinsir. I don't think that he will go for Blastoise because he isn't a threat. And so I maybe I can conserve a fake out for later. Woo! Okay, here we are again with Blastoise. But this game is over. Oh no, I have to put push this. It will not work. Is retreating pins here, bringing Gastron? Yeah. Okay, I will do electric attack into Gastron. I will probably see the Rindleberry now. Okay, no Rindleberry. That even so, he wins. We don't have a round type attack. Okay, and that's it. So, yeah, Captain Death was able to adapt really well. I was not, so he earned this victory. And I think that's, that's a really important game for him to reach the playoffs. my second lose in a row so i'm obviously not really happy about this but hey what what can we do really well played from him 
And yeah, GG's. Thanks for playing and congratulations. I hope you can um, make your way to the playoffs and we get our rematch.